Okay, tutorial time. So you're probably here because your favorite mods don't work anymore at the new version of the game. That's all right, don't worry, because if you play on the Steam version, you can roll back to any version that you want. Before we start, I only know how to make this to work on PC only headsets and the Beat Saber game must be downloaded on Steam. So sorry if this tutorial won't work for your setup. I had to buy the game on Steam for myself to get this to work. Step 1, make sure you have downloaded the game on a Steam account. And step 2, search for Beat Saber Legacy on the GitHub one. Uh, scroll down to the big button that says download and click that. Step 3, extract the files anywhere you want. I put them on desktop for easy access. The thing you downloaded has the Legacy Launcher inside of it and it will also be the place which keeps the old versions of Beat Saber. Step 4, you can run the Legacy Launcher like so, and then you can select whatever version you want. There are settings for finding your files as well, but I won't go into those in this video. For the version, I chose 1.28.0 because it's one of the latest versions that still has all the mods that you want, but you can do some experimenting for yourself. Step 5, finally you can just hit the launch button, never mind, step 5 is actually open up Steam first. And that's it. You now have an old version of Beat Saber, and you can download whatever mods you want from this other application called Mod Assistant. I've already gone through and downloaded my mods and tested it out, but the basics is that you need to repoint your Mod Assistant to this new version inside the installed versions folder, change your Mod Assistant game version to whatever you downloaded and install whatever mods you want. I have a more in-detail tutorial for modding already, so if you need a guide on how to use Mod Assistant, the link will be in the description. And as always, I'll do my best to answer questions in the comments, so see you next time.